What's going on guys and welcome back to another top 10 video on the Ren Figures channel. In a previous video we looked at my top 10 Star Wars The Black Series action figure wish list. This video in a very similar vein looking at my top 10 Star Wars The Black Series vehicle wish list. As always don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get right into the video. Starting off the list at the 10th spot we have Darth Maul and his speeder bike. Now obviously we've previously had a Darth Maul figure in the Black Series, originally released in the first ever wave and then re-released in the archive line years later and then more recently as a celebration exclusive for the 20th anniversary of the Phantom Menace. But the one issue I have with this figure is the rubber robe. Now don't get me wrong, I do think it looks good but it just inhibits the articulation of the figure a little bit too much and if we were to get the speeder bike this just wouldn't work. So if they were to release this vehicle we would need a new Darth Maul to come along with it Preferably one with a soft goods robe so you can, you can be positioned to sit on the speeder bike while wearing the robe. Also as a little extra I wouldn't mind if you came with the two scouter droids that we see in the film just to accompany it as the vehicle itself is quite small. At the number 9 spot we have a Tusken Raider with the Bantha. Now I know this is the vehicle's wish list, but I'm going to include creatures as well. So I've decided to go for the Bantha as I think it's such a staple creature within the Star Wars franchise. We've first seen it in the first ever Star Wars film released, A New Hope, and we've seen it in many other things since, most recently in an episode of the Mandalorian TV series. Now it's not the most exciting of creatures, but it's such a classic, I think most people would love to have one of these on the shelves. And I think it would be quite similar to the Dubak figure we got previously in the Black Series line, and that is a figure I do love as well. In the 8th spot and I have a bit of an odd one and one that I don't think many people would go for and that is Tito and his Lugger Beast. Another creature and one we haven't seen very often. We only really see this creature at the start of The Force Awakens when Rey is introduced to BB-8 but ever since watching that film there's something about the design of the creature that I've really enjoyed. And when you actually look into it it gets quite interesting. You find out that the Lugger Beast has actually been infused with mechanics. And when you look at the armor it wears, especially the mask, it's actually been fused with its face which probably makes it more vehicle than creature. Overall though, it's a really cool design and one that I would love to have on the shelf. At number 7 we have Young Anakin's Pod Racer. Not from the most popular of films I know, but at least a scene I would say most people enjoyed. We also haven't got a Young Anakin figure yet in the Black Series line, and with Hasbro doing more and more prequel figures, I would say it's only a matter of time until we get one. And if we were to get one, it would have to come with his Pod Racer. I loved the design of this vehicle when I was a kid and I still love it now and honestly as much as some people wouldn't want to admit it I think this would be a really popular figure and vehicle to release. So here at number 6 and I've had to cheat a little bit. I couldn't decide between one or the other so I thought why not both and they are General Grievous's wheel bike and Obi-Wan Kenobi's boga. Now starting with the wheel bike, I think overall it's just a really cool design and the Grievous figure doesn't like to stand up anyway so it'd be nice to have somewhere to display him. And then with Open Kenobi's Boga, obviously it completes the scene with the wheel bike and it gives us a, a good excuse to get the desperately needed up, update on the episode 3 Open Kenobi. At number 5 we have one of my all time favourite Star Wars vehicles and that is the Jedi Starfighters from the opening of Revenge of the Sith. Now I would love to get both Anakin's and Obi-Wan's but if I had to choose one I would choose Obi-Wan's just because of the red colouring. Now they feature in one of my favourite scenes in all of Star Wars and as I mentioned I just love the design of these especially when you compare it to the Jedi Starfighter in Episode 2. And I think in figure form it would work quite well, hopefully not too big and sim similar in size to the new snow speeder that we're getting in, we're getting in a couple of months. At number 4 we actually have a vehicle that we've already gotten and that is a speeder bike. It's so hard to find right now and so expensive when you do find it, it desperately needs a re-release. Whether that's a re-release with the Scout Trooper, that's a different story. I actually wouldn't mind if I left it a few years time and waited for the anniversary of the Return of the Jedi and then released it with Luke and Leia figures. But at the same time, if I did want to do it with the Scout Trooper, I would love to see it with the white speeder bike like we see in the Mandalorian TV series. In 
into my top three now and to be honest i think my number one and two could be easily guessed but here at number three i think it's a bit of a different one and that is the 125x tread speeder from the rise of skywalker i personally just think this thing is really cool there's something about vehicles in star wars that have wheels or tank treads that i just love i think it's because we see so many vehicles that can fly or hover it's just nice to see something different and when you see these things tearing along in the new film it's i think it's just cool to see all the sand being kicked up behind them and to be honest i could never say no to more troopers in my collection In the runner-up spot, I think we have a very popular choice, and that is the X-Wing. A vehicle staple throughout the Star Wars franchise, there's really not much more to say than we've had a TIE Fighter, we could really do with an X-Wing. Now this thing would be a beast in size, just like the TIE Fighter was, and probably wouldn't sell fantastically well just like the TIE didn't, but for the hardcore collectors, this would be a must-have. Here we are then, finally at the number one spot on this list. Now, throughout the list, I've tried to keep it as realistic as possible. Most of the vehicles on a smaller scale, so Hasbro would be more inclined to make it. But this thing here would be a beast, and that is the AT-ST. Again, another staple vehicle throughout the entire Star Wars franchise, and a design that everybody knows and loves. But as I say, in 6 inch scale, this thing would be a beast, and Hasbro would probably be reluctant to make it. But I would love to get it, and I'm sure most hardcore collectors would. And there we have it for my top 10 Star Wars The Black Series vehicle wish list. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below if you agreed, disagreed or if there's any that I've missed. As always, like and subscribe for more future videos just like this.